Okay, so we glued our key pairing. We're writing our I can statement. I can show contrast with different, right, different, two Fs. I'm cheating. Cheating, cheating. Oh, all right, how do we spell the word techniques? Yep. Boom. Jimena killed it. So I can show contrast using different art making techniques. We're doing a drawing, but it's not all with pencil. All right, we're gonna be using different ways to create this drawing. So I can show contrast with different techniques and there's a big old and, so keep going. And. A variety of, and I want you guys to make the word lines artistic. So I'm going to do L. I'm going to wait to the line for L. I'm going to show weighted line. And then when I do my I, I'm going to do some dashes or some broken lines. I can show variety of. I'm going to weight this N, L-I-N. And okay, I can show contrast with different techniques and we can show a variety of lines. In your sketchbook, right? You should be taking notes, writing ideas, experimenting with materials, combining all that into pages. Practice drawing people. If you're gonna be sculpting people, draw people. If you're gonna be drawing a person coming out of cookies, right? Draw people. That's the only way you get better at doing that stuff is by practicing it, right? That was Remy's sister. Do you remember her name? Oh, Elise. All right, we got our IKEA statement. We're making art. Yes. All right, now we're going to analyze Keith Herring's artwork. Talk about what he did and how we are going to emulate, right? So if you're thinking about different techniques, what are you seeing? How did he make art in different, like, what different tools did he use to make this? Hey. Sharpie. Do you guys see a picture in there? Everybody has a picture in there. So let's go ahead. Like I found Jesus. There he is. I'm going to label that collage. Did anybody else find Jesus? Is it just me? I'm labeling that picture on there collage. So on your drawing, if you have something from your collage, we can photocopy that and put it in your drawing. So in your finished drawing, you can have an element of collage. That's an art-making technique. Okay, the first thing I said was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Collage. All right, something that Keith Haring does not have that you guys are going to have, I'm going to try to show you in that dragon's face. And you guys tell me what it is. What? Don't wait. Wait till I start. Okay, Not out. Wait till I start. Oh. Wait till I start. All right. What art making technique am I doing right now? Boom. I'm going to go from dark to light. Now I'm going to do shading. So in your drawing, you guys are showing me shading. Ezra and Nick have a lot of shading right now going on. It's looking really good. So find a spot or draw a shape. Shade it and then label that. So look, I'm labeling it. Whoop, shading. Whoop. 
right there. Use the ebony pencil, show shading, label it shading. So by looking in someone's sketchbook, you, you get an intimate look into their life. They're really using the sketchbook like a journal. And their brain too. Sure. I think my mom gave me this as a Valentine's Day. Yeah, this was a gift from my mom for Valentine's Day. That was your graduate. I wrote a quote, all great oh, artists. Yes, <laughs> All great artists are in a sense mad because they have the compelling ability to see a different reality than the rest of the world perceives. I practice my signature, you know, but I don't have that name anymore. Shading. Shading. I'm sorry if you got something inappropriate in your key pairing artwork. That's that's just key, man. All right, did we show shading? All right, make some observations. Look at the way Keith Pairing is using lines and say something. What do you see about his different, what do you see that about his lines? You see some what and you see some what? There's a variety. Um, this artwork right here, can I show yours? This one? All right, do you have the artwork with Mona Lisa in the middle and the two hands? Does anybody have this one glued down? All right, guys, look at this line here on the left. How is it different than the line on the right for this hand? She's thick, right? So that's one way of showing contrast using a variety of lines. So there's thick lines. And there's thin lines. So let's let's start labeling, right? Lines. Right? So we just said there's thick. Am I spelling this right? Okay. Yeah. It's embarrassing when I don't. Oh my gosh, how am I going to get thin? Oh, I have a pen. Thick and thin. That's one way to use a variety with your lines. Not having all thick and not having all thin but using both to contrast each other. Thick and thin, Yemma. All right, so you were ready. Did I give you the canvas to start on? What am I doing right here? Everybody look up. What am I doing? To, I'm going to call these halos. I'm so sorry that you're bored. What kind of a line am I making this? A weighted line. So when you weight a line, you're not just making it all thick and all thin. You're going thick to thin or thin to thick, right? So I'm gonna label that Whoop. weighted. Line. Boop, 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 boop. Weight the lines. Where else on Keith Herring's drawing can you weight some lines? He's not gonna mind. He's dead. He would be honored. He, he was all about making art for the masses. He did not want his art in museums. He wanted it out so everybody could see it. 
That was his thing. When people wanted to buy it, he would give it to them. Show me weighted line. Yes. Yana, you're a good teacher. All right, broken line, you guys, is the easiest. Check this out. I'm going to, he's kind of has these like, where are they? He has these sizzling lines coming off of that circle. So to make it a broken line, it's solid, dashes. So you're just making, you're just adding dashes. Okay, so I'm gonna label that broken line but I want it in my lines category. So I'm gonna go all the way over here. Broken line. another list check it twice oh, we are not there yet we got to get through Halloween before we start checking our list do you know Zona Rosa is already decorated for Christmas it's not even Halloween thank you don't take away all my fun autumnal holidays trying to stress me out what the heck Say it again. Skeletons need to stay the day after. Yeah, so we can buy them on sale, like 70% off. <laughs> like, I try to go and I get things on sale, and they're already packing stuff up. I'm like, no, 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 no. We can use color. We can use paint. Well, that's the first part. First, you have to get the job. Then you earn the money. Now, if you want to, if you are an artist and you want to make money, I made a mistake of working at an art supply store. Do you think I came home with a lot of money? No. Nope. Oh, but I came home with a lot of supplies. Yep. I also learned about a lot of different supplies from working at an art supply store. If you want to get discounts and get a lot of supplies, then yes. If you want to make money to live off of and support your family, probably no. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> so, one material that we have, because you got to think about when we use color, you can use it solid. Like when Keith Herring is doing those colors, you can't see through it. What's a fancy word for solid? Not transparent. It is. Starts with an O. No, rhymes Opaque. with cake. Yes, yeah, say it again. Opaque. Opaque. I don't think it rhymes with cake. So, 
for paint will actually be, if you use acrylic paint, it'll be opaque, which means you can't see through it. Something else we can use that's opaque and it's less messy are these paint pens. So paint pens or paint markers, whatever you want to say, these will be solid and opaque. You won't see through them, not transparent. By the way, when I have to sit through meetings, because uh, I'm a grown up, uh, it's really unfortunate. This is usually what my notes end up looking like at meetings. And I'm listening, I'm listening to them talk, but I'm usually like decorating and doodling. This is what my math notes all looked like. Oh, I have one sketchbook. Speaking of my math notes, this was my math That's <laughs> how much I liked algebra. All right. So here's an example, you guys. What material are we working on for our drawing? Do you guys remember what it's called? The material that we were doing our drawing on. Oh, did I call it mylar? Shoot. All right, so it's got two names. You can call it vellum or you can call it mylar. My bad. Why is it called this? Um, why is it called? Let's see, what else has two names? Aphrodite and Venus. You know what? Venus has two names. Dang it, there's a reason for that. You're right. Because the Romans cheated off the Greeks and stole everything. Yep. I know vellum and mylar are really the same thing. So that's what we're using to draw on. So this material that we're drawing on is really transparent. Yeah, man. What am I looking at? Oh my gosh, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I spelled his name wrong. It's embarrassing. Don't show sophomore? anybody. Sophomore year in high school, I spelled his name wrong. Don't show anybody. All right, so in my example, I'm working on this mylar or this vellum, and I have this hand. So what I did on the back was I colored it with this pink paint pen. So what's cool about this is you can actually work on the back and then you still, I can shade now on top. So by using the paint pens, you can get solid color and you can also still layer. So I'm still going to, I'm gonna shade this hand. Is this showing up? So I can still add all my shading to look my hands you know, look 3D and realistic. Okay. All right, another way we can add color. If you want to add something that you're, you're using color, but you want to shade it, you want to fade it out, what can you color with that you can shade with? Colored pencils, definitely. Write down colored pencils. So if you need colored pencils, ask Larry. Larry will show you where they are, or Sarah. Wait, no, Sarah will be. Guys, we have, um, what's, what's the top quality? If you were to guess top quality colored pencils, what would you go buy? Prisma color. Prisma color. If you want, you think about your Christmas list or your holiday list or your birthday list. If you want nice, top quality color pencils, I always recommend Prismacolor. So we got a brand new set for the year. They're all sharpened, they're all organized, and I want them to stay organized and pretty. So if you use one, please put it back. Like don't put the red back with the greens, put it with the reds. Keep them all nice and together, okay? All right, so what's nice about using the colored pencils, where is this example? So here's a piece that, here it is. Here's a piece that Rain did on that vellum or that mylar. So remember, look, it's transparent. You can see through it. So they are experimenting shading and you could fade it out. And then I think it looks like they used 
the white paint pen to get the white of the eye. Okay, so you're gonna can use color pencils. The last thing, I'm gonna spell this wrong. Um, I'm gonna spell the word quick wrong. How would you spell the word quick wrong? How would you spell it wrong? I think sticks is spelled correctly. Never mind, sticks is spelled wrong too. All right, so this next tool is spelled like that, but we know that's spelled wrong, correct? Yes? Okay. So these quick sticks, if you look at the box, it's very elementary looking. It looks like every elementary art teacher would have these in their room, right? Isn't that adorable? Yeah, pretty much. These are actually really fun to draw with. It feels like drawing with a tube of lipstick. Or yeah. drawing, yeah? Or drawing with, um, isn't it nice? Drawing with a glue stick. Or butter. It's like you're drawing with butter. So what these are, it's actually tempera paint that's in a stick form, and it's wet at first, but it dries really, what, what do you think? It dries really quick. It like instantly dries. So you can get some really like painterly or pastel looking marks, but what's nice about this, I'm gonna color in inside the hand, and I'm gonna go on the back with this quick stick. Is this showing up? Nope, hang on. All right, so I'm filling in this hand with this orange, and now it's actually still transparent. I'm gonna try to zoom in. So can you see, can you see through it? So it's actually still transparent. I can still see through it. I can also paint white underneath to make it opaque if I wanted that to be opaque. So those are the different tools that we have to use color. So you guys are, let me show one more example. You guys can work. All right, so here's a student sample that I've been showing. Hang on, looks so we know what we're doing, okay? So you guys are starting. Oop. I know, we're almost done. You guys are starting with your collage, right? In the collage, you're showing the different type of lines. Then we're getting this clear mylar or vellum, same thing. You're putting it on top, and now you're showing me all these things that we just talked about. What's nice is you can put white paper underneath and see how your drawing looks, right? That's the collage underneath, that's the drawing. So right now, Rain started working on those eyes, but they're gonna go back underneath and add color on the other side of that vellum. Right now, they're just working with the black and the white. They decided they want to keep, if you look at the where that bug is, oh gosh. I'm not ripping it. I'm just taking it off the tape. So Rain really wants those words to be collaged onto the final piece. So we're going to make a photocopy of those words and actually glue those on there. So you're getting a contrast of all these different techniques working together. They want these beams of lights of these colors and they want it to be solid. So what material would you use to get solid color coming out? Yeah, the paint pens, right? That's what we decided, that's what we're gonna use to get the solid color. All right, so everybody at this point, we need to be working on the drawing part. What are we drawing on? Well, I know my little Vellum, mylar. All right, so you guys go ahead, ask me for something that you need. Let's go ahead and get started. You're tracing with vellum. You're adding Sharpie for your lines. You're adding color with different materials. Ready, set, go. Okay. 